you were here last year. My passion is cigar, my passion is music, and I love talking about my cigar. So thank you for being here today. I love the chance to tell you all because I believe that you all are doing this and tremendous help to us, the small band of founders that don't have the tremendous amount of resources to uh, have a tremendous amount of advertising and you guys help us to truly take the work to the consumer and you are doing an invaluable job. So thank you, thank you for thank being you. here. Thank you for being here. Now, what did you do when you had the M356 a couple of years ago as one of the top cigars of the year? Then we followed with the Agent Room 4, number two cigar of the year this year by Cigar Aficionado. Good rating. Thanks to you all, it's been very successful. Well, the pressure is on us, so what we decided to do is come up with a lot of new releases that I wanted all to show you today. The first one being, last year we released the M21. This cigar is a very small production, and it's called Tobacco Age 13 years old. All Havana wrapper from Rochi's Farm, my partner, and this cigar, it's a unique shape, very old cigar. So what we do with that, with the new one is M20. Now some of you may know, or may not know, our numbers, and the blends, are based on the day that we released the blend. So this was for M21, that was Monday, the 21 day of the year. This one, which is January 21st. This one is Monday, January 20th. So it actually happened that it's before, so it's pretty much like the pre-sequel or whatever Star Wars, you know, before the end or whatever. Okay, so this one, absolutely. And by the way, I forgot, I'm sorry. Some of you know, because my son has been in contact with you, this is Carlos, Carlos Nodal, one of my sons that is helping me here. The good thing is having a lot of kids is that you get free labor or cheap labor. And uh, that's a fantastic thing. Obviously, they eat a lot, like the father, and then that, you know. I don't know, my son thing. cost me more, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he, how old is he? 18. Well, when, when you do get 20 and 24, and it costs you more, you know? Oh, yeah. Anyway, so But you're mind. lucky, because daughters cost more than sons. Absolutely, absolutely. So, this cigar is, has a similar shape of the M20, but it's box press, and we love box press just bring a tremendous amount of new dimension to the plant. This is all tobacco, 14 years old, the other one was 13. This is a similar tobacco from the same year, but then we use a San Andres wrapper, and we love San Andres. So on, the, on this cigar, when you have a very balanced, although it says fortissimo, this is not as strong as my other one, because the, San, the other one was a, a Habano wrapper, but this is a San Andres that bringing the toast down, in, in, but it balanced very well. So this is a small production, only about uh, 2,000 boxes of 10 cigars. So very small, very, very uh, small production. MSRP, depending on the type of, uh, obviously their taxes, local, with a 1390 cigar, basically. Well, it's a very nice cigar. Thank, well, you. thank you. Thank you. The Fortissimo, we like it. There you go. So far you received a little commemorative uh, coffin, you can say that. I don't like the word coffin, but it's a commemorative box of one cigar and uh, of the, the pin number one. And this is what I would like you to do to now. Again, what do you do when you got such a high rating and things like that? Well, we look down and we work hard. When I first started working with Jose Blanc, my partner on the cigars, Hoshi had a tremendous amount of good tobacco, and he has an area that he said area one, number one. Well, for marketing purposes, we changed it to pin number one. And that is some of his first uh, growing of Cuban seeds uh, back in 97, 98, and 99. And that's all tobacco that is very well, very well aged. And this is what we got, the pin number one. He never let me touch that tobacco since we started. And we started with the squad, Puro Dominicano, we started with the M356, with the Quattro, this. 
for the day that we were celebrating Cigar Aficionado, please, uh, top 25, he called and he said, Rafa, we're ready, call me next week, let's make sure we work on this. So I went down, and I had to tell you, it was like an hour body, out of body experience, and uh, almost like a sexual experience, pretty much. When we tried that tobacco, we started smelling that tobacco. Obviously, we had a little rum on the hand, and uh, it was just, it, it was just unbelievable. But this is tobacco that have been well aged, have been, have been kept there, and have not been touched, and it was just an, an, an amazing experience. It's like a kid in a chocolate factory, and you go, oh my God. Well. We got those plants, those tobacco, we started blending it with a wrapper that is an Ecuadorian wrapper, very well aged as well. And as a result is the agent room being number one. I can guarantee it, and he has it on tape, I can guarantee it, this is the oldest tobacco ever to hit the industry. Now, this is not a bell from Cuba that I found pre revolution and all these things that, you know, it's, it's not. But this is true aged, well aged tobacco. This is a very a strong blend, very complex blend, and completely full of flavor, but also a lot of body. Now, because I've been aged, it's not gonna hit you like pan like that because I have no ammonia, none of the other chemicals that are inherited to the, to the tobacco. Uh, we also like the presentation. We wanted to hold the attention because every day you get more and more great cigars on the market. And uh, from the presentation, this, this uh, we took a long time to make sure that it reflects what the cigar is. Very, very well aged. Also, in addition to safe space on the shelf covers or the shelf spaces of the retailers, which, you know, they're getting cramped and cramped more late, we put it this way to make sure we save more space. And it comes in three sizes, 52, 54, and a 63 ring size. We try to do a little bit later, a little bit different, so it has not complete torpedo or not complete perforado, but it has a, a little round head. And when you remove that, then what you have is the second fan of the aging room. So overall, this cigar tells you it's good. And you guys are gonna be the test of that. And by the way, feel free to say you like it or like it, what you believe, but we really need that feedback. And uh, But I can assure you, you're gonna like it. So this is my uh, B number one. Then for those of you that know me a little bit, I have three, pas three passions in life. One is Cuba. As you know, I came from Cuba in 1980 in a boat. Uh, if you guys have seen the movie Scarface, so I came on those boats, spent four days in the sea. The other is music that I started violin since I was six years old. He up with some piano around the the time and uh, also composing and conducting. That is my second great passion in life. And the third is cigars. So I mix all three and uh, we released it this year, La Buena. I remember the old Cuban golden era of cigars. This is a design of a, an actual Cuban cigar brand from the 1800s. So we use that, we change the name, and we put a name, La Boheme, which is one of the things that I, of the opera, uh, which is the famous uh, Puccini opera, one of my favorite ones. And in the opera, one of the, the main characters, uh, found to that, that was a musician and enjoy, actually used to sell, uh, used to work on the cigar industry, selling cigars, as a, as a means of uh, getting some money. And uh, so I, I mixed the music part, La Boheme, with the Cubanex uh, look of the cigar and what I remember from the old traditional Cuban golden age. And then obviously cigar. And my other passion in life is drinking, but I, I will do it with a cigar. Fourth passion. <laughs> yeah, fourth passion. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is, I believe, something amazing because when Moshi and us and, and uh, Hank, my partner, were working on the blend, we finished, we tried different blends, and we describe, you know, we describe blends of complexity and this and that. It's 
funny because Hoshi describe it, I describe it the same way. Perfect. Just perfect. I think this is a masterpiece using musical terms. Uh, not only the presentation, which is also important because you know we like the good perfumes to come in beautiful bottles. Sure. But this is a blend that we are extremely happy with. Medium body, tremendous complexity, all tobacco, a mix of six, seven, eight, nine years old, all mixed depending. And uh, comes in three main sizes, 52, 54, and 60. And then we added a, a fourth one that is Mimi. Mimi is the main character of the opera, and uh, she's a lady. And uh, it, uh, it's a small, it's a small cigar for 3.5 inches by 46. A very, very small, fantastic. Perfect, Carlos. You can forget one of those TV choice uh, because it's, it's actually one that I wasn't sure, but I really enjoy it because these days of working so hard and no time to enjoy a, a full length cigar, this is a quick, quick prelude of what a cigar comes at. So, this is La Boheme. And finally, how we started in this journey of the cigars. Uh, after we made our Olivero uh, cigars, we came out with the Swag brand. The Swag is uh, a, a brand to attract the younger generation because some of the younger smokers are tired of the old traditional looking cigars and they wanted to look for the new ones. So we created a Swag Puro Dominicano and we added this year a new, new line, Swag Black. Now everything black in this style, right? So uh, it's the only walk your black, double black, probably gonna have triple black one of these days. This is all tobacco aged over nine years. Some of them might be 10, but nine is the, the, the youngest one. And it's all Habano wrapper, binder, and filler from the same farm in Dominica. So it's actually Dominica food, but very well aged. So we take the Swag idea, also from the same farm, also tobacco. You know, Dominican tobacco was, uh, and I'm gonna get in trouble because some people from Dominica told me, but a Dominican tobacco, in my humble opinion, was always known for flavor, tremendous amount of flavor, tremendous amount of aroma, but never for a strength. Because for a strength, you either mix it, where you went to look for Nicaragua, Honduras, Central American tobacco, that they were grown completely different, different systems, things like that. Well, thanks to the techniques of growing on Hochi, thanks to the aging process, thanks to that, what we have achieved, this is not the old father Dominican cigar. This is a new breed of Dominican that is all Dominican with a lot of body, with a lot of flavor, and this is a full body line of the swag. And by the way, Carlos just brought me this is the Mimi one I'm telling you about. This is a small little one, and I forgot I was smoking one. <laughs> I was a smoking one because I've been smoking so much that I need a little breather, and, and this is to refresh my, my palate. So, this is our new line in, uh, in Boutique Blends. We started this journey about 12 years ago, it has been a tremendous, rewarding journey very difficult journey uh, because we were trying to make cigars for everybody. We were trying to compete with the big manufacturers and uh, make cigars for everybody. Oh, you want this? There you go. You want this? Oh, you want You want a little bit of this one? No, we made a mistake. We don't have what they have and they certainly have a lot more of what I don't have. But what we have is a tremendous amount of passion, tremendous amount of good aged tobacco that I can only make a small production. So this is what I have to offer. Cigars, not for everyone, but for people that are looking for a tremendous amount of flavor, character, and good blends. So these are my new line now, the Swag Black, the Asian Room, and the 20, the Asian Room 